Hello, I'm back. So, uh, just real quick, wanted to show you something I found out uh, yesterday. Um, I'm going to jump right into it. So, uh, the reason why I was looking for this was because I wanted to get all the information from Natalie's consent forms onto the computer so you could have easier access uh, to using that information. Um, so I was searching around the internet trying to figure out a way that I can uh, be able to make a form and utilize that information directly from um, directly from the customers entering the information. So I'm going to jump over here and show you um, when you go to Google and I had this pulled up because I was trying to find this some actual completed form that I have entered because if that's the case then none of this might be necessary but I'm not able to find it. So. Uh, all I did was Google search Google Forms, and you're able to come in here with Google Docs um, and create your own form. So you can come in and view some of the templates. Um, I am going to just, uh, they have all sorts of different templates. I can't remember which one I grabbed. Um, but this is basically where you find a template. Um, so basically kind of just a beginning. Hopefully mine is listed here already, which it's not. So um, I'm just going to grab one of these simple templates so I can show you how to easily make one. Um, this, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's just a couple of drag and drops. Um, This isn't one that I want to use. Ah, this is getting kind of complicated. So um, I'm going to pull up the form that I created because I should be able to, it, I've already posted it. It should just pop up here shortly. So this is the form that I created. This is turning into a disaster. There, there it is. So uh, I took a form that was from one of those templates, and you add in each of these sections. Um, this is helpful only if you think it's helpful. But you can set this website to one of your favorites. Um, and when a customer comes in, they can fill this out online. It has all the same information if you look on the uh, paper form. I tried to just copy everything from there. Um, and then by entering their name at the end, that is them consenting, just like them signing. And when they hit submit, it pulls up into the spreadsheet. You can see that this was the first trial I did with Natalie's information. And then she had two appointments thereafter um, that same day, and things went pretty smoothly. Natalie just mentioned that uh, she'd like to be able to see the information right after they've entered it. And uh, my solution to that problem is having this page open um, just to the side of this page. And then that way, once they've entered, she can just click on there and quickly read, okay, she uh, is not interested in being a tan tech, and yet, but yes, they are interested in receiving a free tan. So that's how you can kind of solve that problem. Um, the advantage of this is clearly grab all their emails and send out a mass email. I know with that um, punch pass deal uh, they're talking about at Endless Glow, this will be a huge advantage. This was kind of what spurred me to create this. Um, so one more thing I want to mention. Um, I can't, you can't just use this website. Um, otherwise, all the information will go into our Google Docs. Uh, you won't be able to um, have your, your own set of clients. So please don't use this, this specific website. Um, and 
the way you can get it set up is through these templates. Once my template is uh, loaded up onto Google Docs, I should be able to send it to uh, our Tantech page. And then you can grab it and make any modifications if you want to make modifications. Um, and then it would have your own address and all the inf your own personal client's information would go to your own spreadsheet, keeping it separate from ours or from anybody else's. So just don't use uh, this web address. Um, as soon as that template's loaded, um, you can grab that template and connect it with, with your Google account, and that will create your own spreadsheet. Uh, if you um, don't want to wait for it to get loaded, you can jump right in and create your own uh, just by grabbing one of these templates. So I hope that's helpful for you. I hope that's something that you feel like you can uh, you can take advantage of because I feel like it's going to be a, a great um, tool when trying to contact your, your customers. I talked to Christy Holt about it and she has thought that it's a great idea. She was wondering something about it already being possible through Endless Glow's back office, which she said she's going to play around with and see if she can get that to figure out because she really liked the idea, but she might feel like there's already something else out there. Uh, until then, you can uh, use that template and I will make sure that template gets loaded so that you can use it. Anyways, thanks for listening.